thanks for joining me for Pilates today. Let's stand tall, feet hip width apart, shoulders back, open our collarbones, draw our shoulders together behind our back, so pull our shoulder blades back and down as though we're tucking them into our back pocket. But while we're doing that, we're not flaring our ribs in, out. Keep our ribs and our hips drawing towards each other. As you breathe a great big breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, think about our T-zone here. And we've got a capital T from our hip bones and the vertical going down between our legs. And as we breathe in, we're going to think about drawing that vertical T up. So drawing our pelvic floor up and the horizontal part, part of the T, we're drawing that together. So when I say contract your T-zone, that's what I mean. Lift your pelvic floor, draw in this transverse abdominus muscle, which comes all the way from around on our spine, past under, over our hip bones, deep, deep core muscle. Okay, let's breathe in and take our arms above our head. Breathe out, swing the arms down. Breathe in, one arm over to the side, other arm down your side. Breathe out, bring it down. Other arm, breathe in and up. Getting a good lateral side stretch here, down the lateral side of our body. Okay, going to work, warm up our big leg muscles. So let's take our feet wide, hands on hips, T-zone contracted, so lifting up before we even start pelvic floor and transverse abdominus. Let's squat down, bottom tailbone pointing down towards the floor, so butt not pushing out behind us. Keep our chest up, our shoulder blades back. So just in your own time, up and down in some squats. If you can, breathe in as you come up, breathe out as you go down. If you'd like to add in some arms, put your arms over your head as you squat, take your arms, touch the floor, keep your chest up, breathe in, arms up over your head, breathe out, touch the floor. Make sure your knees aren't rolling in, they're keeping tracking in line with your big toe. to hips. Let's lunge over towards one knee and then back towards the other side. Keep the chest up again. Take the chest around, a little bit of a twist in the direction of that knee as you come around. Touching down, opposite hand to opposite ankle, still keeping the chest up. side and coming up. Okay, coming to the back of your mat, if you have a mat, let's roll down. So starting as we started the program, nice and tall, crown of the head, pulling up towards the roof, back of the neck long, chin parallel with the floor. Breathe in and as you breathe out, roll down one vertebra at a time. So head, shoulders, belly pulling in, T-zone pulling in. We'll roll up once, so breathe in at the base to prepare, roll up, stack up those vertebrae, one at a time. Take an inhale at the top here, exhale, roll down. Inhale at the base, and this time we're going to walk our hands out until we get to a full plank. Make sure we're in a nice straight line. And then walk back and roll up. So in your own time, we'll do five more of these. So roll down, inhale, prepare, exhale, roll. Inhale, prepare, 
Exhale, walk out. Get into your full plank so that your shoulders are directly over your hands. Holding up that T-zone. Walk back. Try to keep the legs as straight as we can. Inhale, prepare again and then roll up. So we'll go four more. Just in your, at your own pace. two more so if you're going a little bit faster than me you'll just get some bonus ones Pilates is very much about the quality of our movement the quality of holding our t-zone in rather than speed and quantity so let's make your last one really good Quality. So rolling down one vertebra at a time. Pulling in that belly. Spreading the weight evenly across the ball of the feet. And walking back. And we'll just hang rather than roll up again. If you have rolled up, just roll down one more time. Really let the head hang loosely, down towards the ground. Shake the head left and right, up and down. Make sure it's relaxed. Okay, walking out one more time. Now what we're going to do is lower ourselves slowly to the ground, bringing our elbows in by a rib cage. So if you think you need to drop your knees to do this, lower, do so. Otherwise, from a plank, take a breath in, prepare. Exhale, lower, elbows coming in slowly, 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 grazing your ribs all the way down to the floor. Untuck your toes and rest your chest on the mat. Your head can forward, can come down and rest on the mat as well. I'll just turn my head while I'm talking to you. I want your elbows tucked in closely to your ribs here. So making like a, maybe a W shape with our upper body and arms. Keep those elbows tucked in and pull your shoulder blades down your back. Your head's still resting on the floor. Then I want you to tighten your T-zone and lift the hands up off the floor, leave the head facing down and draw those shoulder blades down your back. The head will come up a little bit but not lifting it right up and then lower down. So the sensation I want you to get is drawing those shoulder blades together and drawing them down your back. Okay, again, feet stay on the floor, inhale, pull those shoulder elbows down towards your waist, shoulder blades down your back, Shoulders away from your ears and exhale lower. Okay, on our next one, you can raise the chest more with the same action. So as you inhale, draw the elbows in, lift the hands off the floor, raise the chest, keep looking down at the floor. Really working the muscles of the back, pulling in the T-zone, pulling those shoulder blades down. and lower. 
lower down. Keep your head resting on the mat this time. We're only going to work the legs. So the feet are um, about hip width apart, not shoulder, a little bit closer together than shoulder width. Unless it's worrying your back, take them wider. We're going to inhale, tighten the T-zone and lift both legs and do some little flutter kicks. So little kicks up and down. Keep it going. Another half a dozen breaths. See if you can lift them a little bit higher. Legs are straight. Knee caps and thighs off the ground if you can. You feel this in your lower back and your butt. So draw in that belly to support your back. And release down. Hands by your side, palms up. This time we're going to do the same action with our shoulder blades. Pull them down our back, lift our chest off the mat. So do that as you inhale. Reach back with your fingertips, palms facing up, even thumbs facing slightly to the ceiling, and then turn and rotate the hands around as much as you can. And then turn, turn. So you should feel this in your back of your upper arms. It's all happening up in the top of your shoulders, not down in your wrists. So we're rotating from the shoulders. Lift the chest and breathe. A few more. And relax down, good job. Okay, we're going to make our way up onto our elbows. Still staying face down. Tummy down. Now your choice here, whether you come from the knees or a plank from the toes. So if you're from your knees, you're trying to make a nice, strong line from your tailbone through the crown of your head. And then we are going to bring, actually, sorry, if you're from your knees, you're coming up onto your knees with your thighs vertical. You're bringing your left knee in and then you're kicking it up behind. Knee in kick up behind without lifting that left hip too much. If you're from your toes, knee in, kick up. So let's go. In, kick. In, kick. In, kick. In, kick. Far to go. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five. Bring it down onto the knees. Just sit back just for a moment onto your heels before we attack the other leg. So again, on the knees, in, draw the knee in, kick up. From the toes, up on the toes, draw the knee in, kick up. Draw the knee in, kick up. In, up. In, up. Side to go. to your bottom for a moment. Okay, and then we'll make our way over onto our bottom. Sitting on our bottom with our feet on the floor, knees bent, shoulders down our back. So the action we had when we were laying on our tummy, we want our shoulders down and back. Um, and then we're just going to pull our T-zone in and scoop back. So scoop that belly, still trying to keep these shoulders back and down. 
And we're just bringing our palms together and twisting to one side. Back to centre, twist. Back to centre, twist. Centre, twist. Keep it going. You don't have to go too far back. You may be sitting a little bit higher. Rather you sat a little bit higher than go back and lose your core control, lose your T-zone. Don't let those knees fall apart. Let's do four more. Three, two, one. Centre and come up right. Just hug the knees and maybe fold over the knees just for a moment. Taking our hands behind us, bringing our feet in a bit closer to our bottom, hip width apart, hands are probably mat width nearly apart, or shoulder width, and then we're going to lift up into tabletop. This might be it for you, this might be your choice, or lift, drop the bottom, don't touch the floor unless you have to, lift, down, lift, down, lift, or just stay in the tabletop. Come down to rest when you need to. Reach as high as you can to the sky, really lift those hips up. Let's go four more. And come down all the way onto your bottom. Okay, a few seconds rest. Then we're going back into our boat pose. So again, lifting one leg then the other leg up into tabletop. And then we're going to extend one leg, pull one knee into our chest. So I've got that same lean back, pulling the T-bone in and then swap. Pull the knee in. Pull, 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 pull. Keep it going. Try to keep that T zone really switched on. Whee! Nearly not a boat, nearly a canoe here. Four, three, two, one, and relax for a moment. All right, we're going back into that tabletop position. So again, it may be just a case of you holding in tabletop. You might choose just the option of lowering and lifting your butt, or tabletop, one leg out, down, swap, out, 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 keep the hips as high as you can, job. All right. Sitting up as tall as we can. Feet on the floor. Pilates stance. So point the toes, wrap, start the movement from the top of the thighs, wrap the thighs under. So drawing round underneath the bottom. Feet will automatically come out to a V. Sit up tall. Inhale, arms in front. Exhale. We're going to slowly scoop our belly and roll down. A bit like when we were rolled up. So scoop into that T zone. Inhale, raise the arms over the head. Exhale, roll up. If you can only go to here without losing control of your tummy, that's fine. If you can roll up the whole way, that's fine too. 
So really trying to curve that spine down onto the mat, painting it down from the bottom to the top. Exhale as you roll up. Inhale, prepare at the top. Exhale, curl down. We have four more. Slowly and quality is what we're aiming for. Roll down and come all the way back down onto your back. And we are going to set our legs in tabletop. But before we do so, we're going to switch on our T zone. So, pelvic floor in, drawing this band between our hip bones, slightly imprint the lower back towards the floor. So, slightly take it down towards the floor and then bring one leg at a time up into tabletop. Knees can come together. Let's inhale our arms over our head. As we exhale, we're going to bring our arms forward, raise our shoulders off the ground and straighten our legs in the air. Back to tabletop as we take our arms over our head. Exhale, arms forward, lift the chest, contract this belly. Inhale. Back to tabletop, exhale. Reach your fingertips as far as you can. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale, we have that slight pause in the breath after this exhale while we really reach. Inhale. Exhale, curl that chin up, curl the shoulders up. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now I'm going to ask you to go straight into hundred. So legs can stay straight, pointing at the ceiling. You can lower them down or you can come back into tabletop, head and shoulders up. Breathe in for five pulse counts, pulsing the arms up and down strongly. Breathe out for five counts. And out. Use your breath. Breathe in for five, two, three, four, five. Out for five, two, three, four, five. In for five, two, three, four, five. Out for five. Halfway. Keep pulling in that T-zone. Three more big breaths. See if you can a little lift a little higher just for this last breath. And then stop the arms, grab behind the knees, lower the head back and draw the knees to the chest. Have a rock from side to side if you want to. Okay, again we're going to take our legs straight in the air. If it's a little easier to straighten out the back of the legs, if you've got hamstring tuck, tightness in the back of your legs and you're finding it hard to straighten them, you can take your, just your hands under your butt and lift your butt slightly, otherwise just on the floor. We're just going to open our legs out to the side and bring them closed. Okay, 
so now we're going to, we've got the movement, focus really strongly on flattening these ribs down towards our hip bones, engaging our T-zone, making sure it's, they're working together, pelvic floor pulling in. If it's too much with your legs straight in the air, you can do the same action with legs in tabletop, just opening the knees apart. Okay, we have 10 more. If you'd like to make a little more challenging option, you could lower the legs, take them apart, together, apart, together. Eight more. knees into the chest and just circling the knees towards your chest out to the side back together just circling those hips around and then let's take our feet back on to the floor get ready for our bridge so we have our heels near our buttocks knees and ankles hip width apart we're going to tilt our pelvis, so like before, imprint our lower back right down to the floor and then push up through our hips and our thighs into a bridge. And we're just going to hold a bridge for one minute. So see if we can get those hips nice and high. Breathe away, great opportunity to shut down your eyes and take some lovely big deep breaths while we're not doing anything but holding. Some copyright free, pretty groovy music in the background. Hope it's not too distracting. Sounds like a uh, video arcade. Another 15 seconds and you're done your minute. Take a big inhale here and then slowly paint our spine down from the top of the spine. Curve, curve, curve it down onto the mat. So really draw in these belly muscles so that you're curving your spine down. Lower back hits the floor and then we come back to our neutral pelvis with our slight arch under our back. Perfect. Okay, again we're going to bring our legs one at a time straight in the air. This time we're doing uh, the leg out to the side, but instead of both legs coming out, we're going to leave our right leg, we'll say, uh, I'll say my left leg straight in the air, it doesn't matter which one, and I'm going to take my right leg out to the side and bring it back. So really working on my control of my T-zone here so that I'm not wobbling, and I'm keeping that, my left leg in its starting position, not moving. So slowly and with control. Pilates once was called by um, Joseph Pilates controlology. So control is what we want. Four more on this side. If it's too much with the straight leg, again, you can have the legs in um, tabletop and take a bent leg out to the side, like so. The last one. And then we work on the other leg. So I'm taking my left out to the side now, right leg remains still. I have the wall a little bit close, but I'm still going as far as I need to. I can feel it really working my T-zone. Four more. Oh, 
push through those heels. And back to center, bring the legs down onto the floor and you can have a big stretch from head to toe. And then you can leave the arms overhead in maybe a cactus position if you like. One leg bent and the other leg pointing to the roof. Now we're going into single leg circles. If it's uncomfortable on your arms to have the shoulders, the arms overhead, bring them back down to the side. We're circling the leg down, up and around. So again, switching on all these abdominal muscles so that our hip bones aren't really moving anywhere there controlled. Our ribs aren't with our arms overhead. We don't want our ribs flaring up to the sky. So we're really contracting those ribs, sliding them down towards our hips. Reverse our direction. reset for a couple of seconds and then we'll do our other leg. So leg in the air, down the midline, up and around. Down, out and around. Doesn't really matter how big you make those circles, just you're getting some hip rotation in there and you're working on your core. Reverse the direction. And bring that knee in and down. Okay, coming into some cross crawl here before we go on our side. Bring our legs into tabletop, head and shoulders up and fingertips near our ears. We're taking our left rib over towards our right hip. So head and shoulders up as much as we can and twist. Back to centre, right rib to left hip, twist. So really feeling the twist in the um, abdomen. I'm going one way and then the other way. But instead of thinking about elbow to knee, I'm just thinking bottom of one rib cage over to the opposite hip. Trying to maintain our knees and feet in tabletop and keeping them as still as I can. Let's go 10 more. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to centre and lower down. Oh, good job. Okay, on to our side. Um, you can rest yourself right down on your arm or bring your hand up and rest your head in your hand. We have our feet, hips and shoulders all in a straight line and our knees pointed out in front of us. We're going to bring our ankles up to hip height and then we're going to lengthen both sides of the waist. So top hip away so that it's stacked above the bottom hip. And then we're just opening our knee in clam. So inhale, close. Exhale, open. Gluteus muscles here working. 
should be able to feel it, see it. If you need a hand in front for balance, that's fine. Or you might decide to really go wild and take your arm up to the roof. Pretty wild times in COVID. Okay, on our next one, we're going to open our flag and then kick forward, back and down. Open, kick the heel forward, back and down. Open, kick. Still going crazily wild here with my arm in the air. Still drawing in my T-zone, keeping my both sides of my waist long. And let's shut our clam and lower our feet to the floor. Bottom leg can maintain that bent knee. Top leg's going to be extended. So again, pushing away through that top heel, lengthening the hips, making sure this top hip's over our bottom hip, so you may even feel like you're slightly rolled forward. And then we're going to do hot potato. Tap, tap in front, swing it over, tap, tap behind. Hot potato, hot potato. Wiggles, high five, wiggles. So tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap. And bring the leg back level. We're now going to do rectangle. So we are sweeping our foot back behind us, lifting it up, bringing it forward and down. Sweep in a rectangular shape. So not dropping lower than hip height, bottom, bottom of the rectangle is hip height, then we're lifting it up, forward, down. Back, up, forward, down. Should be knowing what part of your body is working by now. Should be feeling that um, muscles in your butt. Let's do two more rectangles. Sweep back, up, forward, down, back, up, forward and you can take that top leg and rest it in, on the floor in front of you. Straighten out the bottom leg, you can bend that top knee. Trying to keep the top knee off the ground, foot on the floor. Lengthen out the bottom leg, lengthen the top waist away from you, the top hip, and then we're just doing a lower leg lift. So I've got my bottom toe pointed and lifting with my bottom leg in a thigh. Okay, both legs straight now as though you're stuck between two panes of glass. Nice straight line, the whole body. Hand can come in front, top arm can come in front for balance. Head can rest on your head or down and we're doing a double leg lift. So lifting and lowering both legs, really engaging this T-zone here. If you can do it without hand in front. Good. Two more. Just have a rest for a moment. The next one we're going to do is a double leg lift. I have my bottom arm extended this time and then I'm going to lift my legs and then I'm going to push up a little bit on this bottom arm and reach towards my toes and then lower down. So legs up and reach. 
down, up, reach, down, keep it going. Okay, the next one we're going to stay up there, keep reaching and then scissor your legs back and forward. Bring the feet back together, lower and relax, bring the knees in, give your butt a little bit of a, a thump or a clap. Great job. Okay, making our way onto our other side. And we started off with our clamp. So knees forward, feet in line with our body. Lift the feet up, lengthen the waist and lift. Arm in the air. bit of extra work here it's really tight in that t-zone okay open the clam kick forward shut the clam open kick make sure this top shoulder is drawn away from our ear Together, knees together and rest the heel on the ground heels okay keeping the bottom leg where it is extend the top leg for our hot potato so lengthen tap 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 behind in front, lift the leg up, sweep it back, up, forward and down, making our rectangle. more rectangles. Bring it forward, rest that top leg on the floor, bend the knee, straighten the bottom leg, ready for our single lower leg lift. So lifting up and down. Don't collapse through the waist. No banana bellies here. Lift that top bottom waist off the floor. leg down, bring both legs together. We have our double leg lift. So lengthen the whole body in a straight line and then lift both legs up. 
So your waist will actually come to the mat here and as you lower your legs, your waist will lift off again. Up and lower. Okay, double leg lift and reach, so bottom arm extended, top arm along, sliding along your outside of your thigh. So lift the legs up and reach and lower. Lift, reach, lower. Okay, lift, reach and hold and then scissor the feet. Really reach, control that T-zone. Very good, feet together and lower down. Draw that knee forward, just give the butt a little bit of a congratulations. Okay, and rolling onto your back now. We're just going to roll up again. So in whatever fashion, whether you do a traditional roll up, arms overhead, roll all the way up, or just bring yourself to a sitting position. A little bit tired just then. We're going to come into a wide straddle. So legs wide, sit up tall, arms out to the side. We're just going to inhale, prepare, exhale, just rotate to the back. So inhale, exhale, two little pulses of the back arm. Pulse, 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 pulse. So hips remain facing forward, getting a rotation here in the upper waist. One more each side. Make sure those shoulders away from the ears and bring them down. Okay, we're just going to place our hands on the floor in front of us, pull our belly in and just slowly bring, creep our fingers forward. Keep the chest up, just getting a bit of a stretch in the inner thighs and the legs. Keep the toes pointing back towards you. Just go to wherever you can go to. Walk yourself back. Turn and face one of your straight legs and then fold forward over that leg. You'll feel a stretch in the outside of the back, lower back there. And also maybe in your, your leg, your hamstring. Bringing yourself up, that's a quick stretch, over to the other side, twist and face the other leg and fold forward. Bend my knees up in front of me, lean back on my hands, cross one foot onto, so my right foot onto my left knee, draw my left foot into me, myself as much as I can, in towards my bottom, and then I can even walk my hands in closer and walk my bottom closer to the foot. So I'm getting a stretch in my right hip here. You might need, not need to walk them in at all when you're getting your stretch, so... I've walked my heel in closer and then I've walked my hands in closer. 
lovely stretch of that outside of that right hip. We'll hold this a bit longer because we worked our butt a fair bit on the, with our clams and our rectangles and hot potatoes. ourselves up. Okay, release that leg down, cross the left foot onto the right knee, heel comes in, Ooh, little crack, Slide the heel in, walk the hands in and the butt in as much as you can so that you feel that stretch in the left hip. I'm looking out at Lake Wallace Edenhope and the sun is shining and you wouldn't find many more beautiful spots in the world at the moment. Okay, release that leg down. We're going to make our way onto our knees. Just give the hips a little wiggle from side to side. Tuck the toes under and push up into downward dog. It's really the first time we've stayed in downward dog. Normally we do a little bit of downward dog in Pilates, but we'll do it now. So taking the heels towards the floor, getting that stretch from the heel right up, Achilles calf, hamstrings right up into the butt. Okay, come up on your toes and tippy toe your way in towards your hands. Stay on your toes and see if you can roll up without putting the heels down. I don't know if I can or not. Let's see. Tighten the core. Ooh, ooh, don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it was a roll up, a wobble up. Oh, very good. Let's take our arms around in front of us. Join our hands together. Turn the palms out and push away. Really stretching through the backs of those shoulder blades. We did a bit of work with them today with our flight and our chest raises. Take the arms overhead, stretch up as far as you can, over to one side, stretch out those oblique abdominals that we were also working. back to the other side. Back to centre and release the arms down behind your back. Clasp the hands together again if you can. Turn the palms out. Pull away. Actually you don't need to turn them out. Just join them together and pull down and back. Really opening up your chest. Some big deep breaths. shoulders. Thank you for joining me. Let's join together in three big delicious breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Come back to the videos here or on YouTube, Eden Hope Hospital YouTube channel. 
probably easier to find there what you want. And thanks for joining me. Give yourselves a clap. <laughs>